Hello my friendly YouTube watchers that are gonna probably have to put up with a whole bunch of fake noise. Let this truck go by. Make that clang. And howling kind of hissing noises in the phone that are now pretty much just leaving. But somehow can get directed at the phone for an irritation. I've noticed that a lot of my videos lately. Anyways, back to the subject. I just want to show my felt my my team, whoever's watching, where I'm from. I just did a 400 uh, kilometer trip, and I'm just coming back from the heavier mountains. Going out this way towards the coast. You see, I'm completely surrounded with mountains. It doesn't matter if I went around the corner here. This is a really long mountain. <laughs> it's just the start of it right here. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that credit, again, is due for you to think about because of what I make claims on at different times and part of how I'm able to make those claims is where I'm from my backyard and I played in these a lot none of the scary times I don't think I'm pretty sure my parents never warned me about a bear in my whole life nor a cougar And when I was like around 15 to 20 years old, I lived full time in the mountains. And I walked pretty much all the time, hiked all the time, bicycled, and got into motorcycle riding and stuff. But I was in the mountains a lot, in the lakes and the waters and all this kind of stuff, doing all kinds of things. And I want you to realize that uh, I don't know where I was going, but you do need to realize that uh, I give myself credit based on that stuff and based on a whole bunch of other things that help. I've said it before, my dad, how he taught me how to be a man and stuff, challenge your fears or whatever and get through things, different ways, my mother, in many ways, and all my other education and how I was as a just a single person, you know, just my own personality and defects or awesome effects, whatever they were, are. Point being is, um, yeah, this is, um, this is a great time. And I hope you continue to clue in, to watch in, to sign in, to thumbs in, get this movement really where it needs to be because I'm telling many people that I am the only one that can talk about the supernatural, the phenomena experiences, the UFOs, many, many, many things like this. I am that person. And a lot of these other people out here do have some stuff. I'm not discrediting everybody. But we do all know we got liars always around. And there's a couple of very powerful UFO, Bigfoot type people that are really well known in the world that are just straight up lying. Not even mistaking, straight up lying. I'm just turning that, trying to keep the mountain in there. Anyways, the reason why I'm bringing in this mountain so much is because there's a bunch of them all hiding all over the place there. You look for them in the dark shadowing and, you know, if you study shadows like I do, there's a lot of language with light imagery and basically where I find these guys to be are um, in the light spectrum. And this, most of the UFO stuff, a high number of it, is the clear, or not the clear, but the very white spectrum, 
on this side of the chart and it's floating around up there and people get this imagery in their mind and stuff and keep with this UFO out of space kind of weird program understanding. Oh, it had headlights, whatever kind. Oh, I could see in its window. All these different things that just can represent, all of them can represent lights. A different tint of blue in one area against another tint of blue, color of blue, could, it really throws off our imagination. Because we've seen lots of things that people are drawing to look like a UFO and making them kind of those gray kind of colors and stuff. So, point being, is being part of that spectrum, I believe they have an ability to project the spec that a spectrum of light and do different things with it. And you think about it, if you have it at the tip, if you had it at a tip of your finger in a flashlight and you wiggle your hand around like that, the amount it would be moving over here is great and it's going like that. Come, when you just did that, that it would have went like that. You follow me. And so you can understand distance things and stuff like that if it comes to be a projection. Okay, so now, under, hearing that, now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to say, doink. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that, uh, what is on the other side of the spectrum? Deep, deep black. Not any of the black you're going to see right down here. Why? It's too daylight. For sure, that's going to be one of the reasons. And then it has to be a super pitch dark night for that to get to the deepest black. But why right now, when you look in the, in the background, why are you able to see super dark black? There. Different places there. If you could actually see over there, if there was a clear day over there, over there, over there. Depends on the day, depends on the weather. There are different outcomes of those interactions of, though, you know, like the sun's interaction of its energy of light. Goes, you know, as a tool that we get to measure against what I'm saying that they have is a control in that field of energy light or something. Somehow I just got to hear a tweet that really made me look that way and obviously it wouldn't have been those cars that were driving fast that just went by now. And it could have been a bird and it could have been just signaling me or whatever. Or it could have been, what I'm telling you, is they're mimickers of all kinds of noises. The trains, I've studied the trains a lot, man, and they they know I have a really tough time with the high pitchers. High pitch noisy. I say that I think they know this. Because sometimes I really have to put up with it a lot. But what I do is I get irritated a lot by noise. So I've had to come to the spot where I just ignore it so much of the time. I don't even necessarily do that. Like, say if all of a sudden there's a loud noise in a different direction. I don't necessarily go like this very often to get it in my camera, to get it in my own sights, to think about it. I think about it just without passing on the information that I'm thinking about it. And I've done that a lot. And I believe that kind of helps get me... The sun's coming through a bit. So I'm going to go like this. So I th believe that that helps me get... Uh, maybe a little bit more feedback more often because I've noticed that if I notice something and I am kind of caught by it and I pay attention right away or whatever, it generally, well, I can't say generally, but quite often won't happen again. It's the end of that sound. And I know how to... In a lot of natural ways, I know how to understand 
a number of ways to, because I've done it so much, to really can come to conclusions pretty positive and supportive with my own techniques and my own kind of, let's say, our human science of how we look into things. To know that I can be pretty right a lot. And I know still, like there's things that I will think about for days that was just a little event. Maybe I was standing here, maybe that little bird whistle I said a moment ago or whatever type thing. Something maybe a little bit more theatrical or something like that. But things go on like that and sometimes, yeah, I'll be thinking about it for days and sometimes I'll end up going, yeah, I just I can't say yes. Like that. And I have no total. If I had a toll of what I've done and what I've seen and what I've heard and the electrical ex energy experiences that I've had that are just phenomenal from the phenomenal matrix where they're just floating around or flashing around or, you know, in spots where there's no cars, where there's no houses, you know, and... Then there's all these different noises that have come along with all these different um, occasions and stuff. And that's why I tell, try to encourage people to come out and try to do a hang, find, figure out where I am. Do a hangout. And you do get to experience some of it. You will 100%. I guarantee it. Take care. Make sure you don't uh, forget that thumbs. It's all the support you can give. Like, if you want to give me some money, let me know. Because I'm a broke dude. And for me to really ever get anywhere with this, I need to pour some money into something. Seems like money always helps, but at least it would help me on my financial um, falling behind all the time. Monthly, I fall behind. And it's not kidding around. And I'm only on pensions because I'm a hurt, hurt dude. Believe it or not, they really do have some injuries that are tough ones to deal with. So cheers.